Rent is on alert with that strange man because this swamp was not a place for normal people to be alone and the man says that it even seemed that he was insinuating that it was also not normal and chose his magic item that nullified poison and his holy water to ward off the Terox in addition to having a precious map since he was after these flowers and asks if he could pick some rent allows and even has fun cuz in the VDD. He who wasn't normal. Let's go to our continuation toll because if you want to receive the semi-final episode you will have to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like and comment a lot because there is a rumor that those who like and comment get their own harem of 2DS or 3DS but anyway let's go to the anime. And after picking the flowers, the man says that his master wanted the flowers herself, although they didn't last long, but if they turned her into medicine, she would hold out longer, making Rent curious if his master was sick and he replies that in a way, yes, and would like to be by his side to take care of her, but maybe this meeting of theirs can be favorable for him and his master, since was looking for someone who could pick these flowers for them often and asks if he would be an adventurer and Rent introduces himself as a bronze class adventurer and even questions if he had changed his mind but the man had no doubts about his capabilities and maybe Rent could take the job so he would prepare things as soon as he returned Rent agrees and the man introduces himself as Isaac Hart and so on if everything was right, he would introduce his master to him. And so Rent returns to the guild to return the magic bag and ask them to unravel a monster leaving Sheila impressed that he had managed to defeat Kilo but he asks her not to make such a fuss. And Sheila takes him somewhere else while Rent thought that monster bodies made various materials and he had learned to do the basics as a hunter but paid an expert for things he couldn't do. Then they meet with Darius and Sheila says that Rent had brought a Terox and so the man takes them to a room where Rent releases the body of the monster but everyone wears a mask because of its venom and Darius is impressed because this creature was huge and was in perfect condition and in fact its shell had not received any damage which was unusual since it was normal to fight against them giving damage to weakens due to the poison. Then he questions if Rent had defeated him with just one blow and he confirms despite having said that it was luck, but the man asks him not to be so humble and it has been a long time since he has seen a Terox of this quality, so he would surely receive good money. And outside, Rent says he was going to visit the orphanage the next day and thanks Sheila for staying with him so late, but Sheila says he didn't need to thank her and recognizes that he had gotten stronger and maybe is at the level of a silver class adventurer, making him thoughtful. And right after that, Rent is left alone and thinks that he felt stronger and remembers ISAC and that he was sure that he was not an adventurer, but he had the strength of a silver or even gold class adventurer, while he just took advantage of his new body with a strength that he gained by becoming a monster and it was clear that he wanted to go back to being human. But he was afraid because without this power he would go back to who he was back then and for 10 years he couldn't improve and didn't even have talent and he was suffocated every day, so he wonders if if he went back to being human he could still reach the mitral class? But let's go to the next day where Rent visits the orphanage and finds Alizé who is surprised that he has already completed the mission and in the orphanage the herbalist Norman and the healer Umberto are impressed that he managed to bring the flower in perfect condition since it was difficult even for high-level adventurers because of the poison of the swamp in addition to having the possibility of finding a Terox on the way. Out and with this quality Norman would be able to create a remedy for Malaccumulate quickly and asks if he could take advantage of the flower if there was something since there were people who needed it and Alizé agrees but Rent offers more flowers and says that he didn't need to pay and should just make good use of them leaving everyone impressed because that varies a lot of money but Rent says that it was good to help people from time to time and thanks to that Norman could save a lot of people and meanwhile we see a gang of rats. But we go back to Alizé who signed the conclusion of her work, she thanks him and says that she didn't know how to thank him and even thought about becoming an adventurer to go alone in case no one accepted the job, but she recognizes that maybe it wouldn't have worked out, so Rent asks if she didn't want to be an adventurer anymore. Alizé answers that it was the other way around and the desire was even greater because she wanted to become an adventurer as him so that he can help people even. Though now he can't do anything to help him but Rent says that wasn't true since even he needed help so if he needed something he would look for her making the girl happy and then his little mouse returns and Rent says that they wouldn't have to worry about the little monsters that appeared in the basement anymore because Edel's henchmen would protect the area making the girl surprised.
She even asks if she could tame monsters when she becomes adventurous and thanks Edel. And Rent says that it was better for her to start training early if she wants to become an adventurer and recommends that she attend guild classes and if she has time he could also train her and as she had mana it would be better to learn how to use magic but the girl is distressed because she didn't have money for that since learning magic was even more expensive than learning to use a sword but Rent says she had a friend with nothing better. To do that could train her at no cost but Alize refuses because she couldn't accept more favors. So Rent decides to lend the money for her training without interest so that she pays when she becomes an adventurer, making Alize happy, she accepts the proposal, but on the condition of paying with interest. And at night Lorraine says she didn't mind teaching magic to the girl but she gets mad at this story that sometimes she ran out of better things to do and Rent apologizes because in VDD he meant she had a little time and Lorraine says he needed to be careful with his words since he didn't understand how the girls felt and Rent apologizes and admits that he had very few interactions with young young girls but Lorraine says it wasn't true and asks him to think straight. And Rent asks where there was a young woman leaving Lorraine so much that she remembers a powerful spell she had just developed and wanted to see the effects on a zombie making Rent desperate because it was clear that she was a young woman who had a silhouette that looked like sculpture in addition to being so beautiful that even the fairies created by the goddess of beauty would bow at the sight of her beautiful face he continues to complimenting. And Lorraine is still mad because he should say that to everyone but Rent admits that he just said what he was thinking leaving Lorraine so embarrassed that she even lost her ground. And the next day Mr. Rat enjoys his time off while Rent goes to the guild but Sheila asks him to accompany her to another room where she was serious when she asks if he knew anyone from the Latour family which Rent denies then Sheila says that they had requested it for him and Rent remembers ISAC who was the employee of that family and questions if they were really that famous and Sheila explains that he didn't know much about them that they were an old family that had a lot of influence in. Malt despite not being noble and the guild masters of each generation were instructed to be very careful not to offend the family and if Rent wants to continue living in Malt he couldn't refuse the request despite Sheila being insecure making Rent realize that he would lose his life if they found out he was a monster although ISAC didn't seem to mind his suspicious appearance and if that was a problem he wouldn't have made the request and because of that Sheila asks him to be careful since now Rent would pay them a visit but in the meantime the director of the orphanage finds out about her illness but Norman gives the medicine to the priestess who is worried about its high value but Alizé says that she didn't need to worry and Norman explains that an adventurer accepted Alizé's job for a bronze coin, reminding her of Rent. And we go back to Rent who arrives at the Latour residence where he asks about ISAC and the guard says that he was in the mansion and could enter and Rent asks about the maze that was in front but the guard only advises him to be careful and Rent asks if he would have to buy a map but the man denies it since it wouldn't make sense because the maze was made by a special magic item that made the path change leaving Rent impressed at something. Like this exists, so the guard continues to say that. The heads of the Latour family collected magic items and this item belonged to their collection, leaving Rent dissatisfied with going through a pastime of theirs. But the guard says that whoever managed to get through the labyrinth won a reward that would be a magic item from the head of the family, making him interested in the challenge Rent thanks for the information and asks if he had some advice and the man says the son wouldn't help him. Making Rent curious, but even so, he enters the labyrinth since after all, he needed better items to become a mighty class adventurer and spends time walking around the garden and even tries to use his map that showed the places he had already passed, but it doesn't work because maybe it only works in mazes, so he keeps walking since after all he had a good sense of direction, but he ends up admitting it that I was completely lost. Thus marking the end of the 10th episode, thank you very much to those who stayed so far and do not forget that mega moral, with your like, subscription and sharing, VLW and see you next time.